Fiona, what do you think is going to happen next week? We're going to start getting the clips up and start previewing next week's episode. But what, where do you think the Abigail Noah is going to take us? Because right now she's crying in the bathroom. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that shed through, whether he was talking to the camera or talking to her, like, was that this was hard for him. And that was kind of the saving grace in my eyes. Because if you look at the progression of their relationship, right, it's like, oh, we've, you know, found an initial connection, we've gotten closer, we've had some serious conversations, we've started to have the most serious conversations, it's about to be get together or break up and go home, right? And you could argue that he was like, all right, show's over, made it all the way through, I'm not gonna make it work with this girl long term, gotta cut the cord. I wouldn't argue that though, based on how sad he genuinely seems to be, right? So I think that what we're going to see from both of them is a lot of tears and at least some yelling because she was angry, right? She was not happy. She said it point blank. We heard it from her like, I feel blindsided. And as we just discussed, I think she does have some ground to stand on there. So I think she's going to come out of that bathroom probably pissed. They're going to have it out a little bit. And I think both of them are going to leave feeling really torn up and sad, which I hate to say, but I don't see it taking a turn from here. I think that her ego took too much of a hit for him to be able to be like, never mind, I don't mean it. You know what I mean? Let's try to give this another go. I don't think it'll work. Yeah, I don't think it will work either. But what's interesting is they've been posting together on Instagram like all season long. I don't know if they're just like posting because they're on a TV show and, you know, a power couple, you know, this is obviously the way to get the views or to keep the viewers engaged. But I do feel like they are friendly. I think they were spotted together in New York City last week and hanging out with a bunch of Bachelor people. So I think that they are at least friends and maybe the door is not completely closed but they definitely aren't each other's person. So let's just keep saying it again. <laughs> um, we're about to get the clips up for next week. We have so much to go through because next week is the three hour season finale. So we know a lot is going to go down. There's still 16 people on the beach left, maybe 18. I don't know. There's just so many people. So everyone's going to be dropping like flies. But let's take a look at this first clip to see what is going to go down between. It looks like Abigail's crying here. Cute little bow. Relationship to the next level, or are you not? Wow, Mariah, what are you making of that clip? It seems like Abigail is getting consoled to by Serena and Mari, and it looks like the prom really took a turn. Okay, so here is my prediction Serena and Abigail are so tight. I'm thinking Abigail is like, I want to leave, I'm gonna go. And because Serena was crying too, she looked not just like crying, like, you know, this is so sad that my friend is feeling this, but like very, very upset. So that kind of makes me think, well, maybe Abigail is just gonna leave. I mean, when you get your heart broken and you know, there's a week left too. It's like, well, there's no reason for me to be here. I mean, all you want to do is be separated from that environment. So maybe Abigail just leaves. I don't know. That's kind of my prediction just yeah. based off of this clip. And if she leaves, that means Noah is going to leave as well. And that they're done, so I hope that it doesn't psych other couples out. But it also should be a wake-up call because if you're not going to get right. engaged and you don't have a plan to make this work after the show – now would be the time to leave. Maybe not in the middle of prom, but like at least the next morning because there's like mm -hmm. three days left. Um, but Becca and Thomas are also a couple that started about halfway through the season. We're going to have to see what happens with them next week. So let's take a look at this next clip and see if Becca and Thomas are going to make it last. Paradise is coming to a close. Three hours of drama. I'm having this internal battle. I feel like you're too good to be true. I don't want you if you're the one. Why is Becca telling Thomas he's good to be true? Is this supposed to be the other way around? Fiona, can you translate? Well, listen, if we think back to Katie's season, his authenticity is kind of what's always been in question. I feel like he's like Mr. Suave. He always kind of knows the right thing to say. And what we couldn't figure out in Katie's season is, is that just his personality? And he's not having malicious intent behind it or is he playing an angle is he playing a game and obviously in katie's season it was determined that he was playing an angle right he wants to be the bachelor he's got to get out of here what did she say your bachelor audition's over or whatever it was like <laughs> it didn't yeah, work for him said. there i liked him week after week more and more 
Oh my goodness, you're so <laughs> I've liked him week after week, like more and more in paradise. So I really want to believe that his personality is just, he's that kind of guy that tries to say the right thing, tries to impress people, tries to, you know, make everybody happy all the time uh, to a positive end. And I really, really hope that nothing happens that causes Becca to feel blindsided by him, right? I hope we don't catch him in another lie. I hope he doesn't let us down because he definitely rehabbed his image at least a little bit, right? Um, Mm -hmm. And it would be really sad if in the finale episode all of that comes crashing down again. I don't know. I have high hopes, though. I'm hopeful that we still like him by the end of this. It kind of looks like she's just breaking up with him because she's not ready to get engaged or is just worried about the situation. But, I mean, if there's also been rumors that they're still together and that maybe they broke up on the show and reconnected. So I can't wait to see what happens with their love story. Mariah, what do you think is going to happen? Are you rooting for them as a couple or do you think it's just a weird pairing? I actually am. I I see them together in the real world. Like, I really love them. And, yes, like you said, Fiona, like, his authenticity has... 100% always been in question, even a little bit in paradise. I mean, though each episode, it's like we kind of soften towards him more and more. But I feel like what could he possibly have to gain from being phony at this point? He's not going to be The Bachelor. There's no way he doesn't know that. Like, it's never going to happen. That ship has sailed. He can come back to Bachelor in paradise, but it's like nobody's going to care at that point. He's always going to be the guy who just like, tries to say all the right things, but always falls short. So I feel like he is being genuine. I think he does really like what he has with Becca, but I don't blame her for feeling like, wow, are, do I do I feel like I trust this person enough that I really barely know that has such a rocky past enough to get engaged. So I really love them though. Like I never thought I would say that about anybody with Thomas. Um, and I'm with you, Zachary. Like I didn't love that she came to paradise either. I was kind of like, girl, like, what are you doing here? Give someone else, let someone else shoot their shot. But I really do like them together. So I ship them. I hope it works out. Even if it doesn't work out now, I hope that rumor that they're together now is true. Yeah, Yeah. we'll have to see what happens. We're going to get all the answers to our questions. You know, I can't wait to see what the storyline play out. Next week literally is the finale, finally. Um, But let's see what else is happening on the beach, because it looks like a lot of couples are going to be dropping like flies, which we obviously predicted. But let's kind of see by this next clip who we think is going to make the cut and who is going to just skedaddle. Romance. Love you you too. And tears. It's definitely scary. We're literally dropping. Okay, I mean, who do we think is leaving? Right now I'm seeing Anna saying her goodbyes. And it looks like Serena and Joe, Mari and Kenny are pretty solid. And then James is walking down the beach. Thomas is crying. Mauricia is a little worried. Um, What are you making of this clip, Fiona? You know, I think that James is looking around and I feel like he's a good guy. And I feel like he says to Anna, like, listen, I I don't think we can leave paradise together. I certainly can't get engaged. Like, I do feel like my time on the beach has come to an end. Because, again, his time on the beach, he's been there since day one. He's probably ready to pack his bags and just go, right? Cash out and be like, well, at least I made it through the season. Uh, and she's probably going to take that kind of hard because she just got there. So I think they're going to drop quickly. Uh, I think that Thomas and Becca are going to be a roller coaster of emotions. But I don't think that they are done with this crying conversation. I mean, we've already uh-huh. seen it. I don't know if they put that clip in this teaser as well, where she like is going to run after him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what what I make of those two just yet. Um, but Marissa, I, I think she and Riley are going to probably be fine. It's hard for me to predict with them because we've seen a lot of different clips sprinkled in and a lot of different teasers that send different directions. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm nervous, though. I feel like I'm just nervous for everyone, basically. Even Serena and Joe. Like, I'm nervous for everybody. Well, the next clip that is in the trailer is actually going to be Becca, what it looks like running to Thomas. So let's just play that. And then, Mariah, I want to get your take. Who will get engaged? Thomas! Oh, my God. I did not see that coming. Who will go home broken? Okay, this is giving me flashbacks to when Katie chased Andrew S., on her season down the stairs, but this time Becca and Thomas are kissing. So I, do we think they broke up and then she changed her mind before he left? Uh, Mariah, what do you think? 
I kind of feel like, like I said earlier, she's probably having doubts. I don't know if I can fully trust this person enough to get engaged at the end of this. And then that, that to me is like, and she's justified in thinking that. I think that's responsible to consider every avenue, but she could also be getting in her own way of like something real and something strong. So maybe she realized like, what am I thinking? Whether we get engaged or not, this is so great. And so maybe this is a like total rom-com moment where she's running up into their arms and like, mm -hmm. I want to make this work with you. Let's leave right now moment. I mean, it totally could be. I obviously look into spoilers. I don't think that they are getting engaged, but it is possible. Maybe they leave this episode together because they are fully about each other. I mean, this looked like a very passionate kiss, right? Like this does not look like yeah. a... You know, uh, especially after the hard conversation that we already saw took place. I hope this kiss comes after and not before. And this isn't just a play on editing because this looks so passionate. Like, okay, whatever the obstacles are, let's make it work. I mean, Becca's not getting engaged. She was literally the bachelorette and was engaged and with the guy from the show. So I don't think she's trying to go back on The Bachelor and get engaged again, but I can't wait right. to see what happens with these two play out. Um, in this next clip, we're gonna see Riley and Mauricia. They have been a solid couple since day one on the beach. Will they get engaged? Will they leave together? Will they break up? Let's see if we can find out in this next clip. I've been thinking over and over, this is something like if they break up, I will actually like not believe in love anymore. Like they have been so <laughs> solid and they fit so well. She's crying. Like, why is she crying? I, I'm assuming her in a bathrobe is like after overnight. So they're going to be doing the fantasy suites next week. So what is happening here, Fiona? I have this feeling that she is a little more fairy tale romance than Riley is. And I think she thought that they were going to get engaged. I firmly believe that that is where her head is. I feel like this conversation, even though he seems super serious and it feels like it has a, a heavy tone, you're so right to point out the location. They're on the beach when this happens. She is in a bathrobe. We know fantasy suites come right before the end. I feel like that conversation is actually going to go pretty well. I feel like it's Riley telling her that he actually does see a future for them and her agreeing. But then I think during fantasy suites, that next step conversation is coming. And I think she wants to get engaged. And I don't think that he is the type of person to get engaged after this short amount of time in a reality that, let's face it, just isn't real life. It doesn't strike me as his mm -hmm. personality. I hope that's what it is, because I think even though she may be crying here, that doesn't mean that their relationship completely fizzles and has no hope. It would just have to be an adjustment on her part. I uh, could be totally out on a limb there. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but I'm really hoping that it's just a rough patch and they figure it out. Because they can still leave the show together without getting engaged. Like, like I mean, like you mentioned, that's a good point. Riley is very logical. He's a lawyer. He's been very by the book. He doesn't seem like the type to make careless decisions. So I think it's possible that he might have to tell Mauricia that he's just not ready to get engaged, but maybe he still wants to stay with her. Mariah, are you rooting for mm -hmm. them as a couple? Do you think that they can last after Paradise? I for sure do. I think they're both very serious and intentional with one another. I loved, I think it was, I think it was this episode where Riley, maybe it was last week's or Monday's, where he was giving his interview and he was like, I can see us just waking up on Sunday and me making me, making breakfast yeah. for us and the kids and she doesn't know how i do it yet but she will like that is so intentional that speaks on he has this man has already been thinking about a like married and with kids future with her so i think he mm -hmm. is 100 percent about her but we also have heard from her she worries that she's more into him than he is to her which i think is just a miscommunication like that, that just kind of comes down to a miscommunication something not being communicated that needs to be so maybe if her hopes are set on an engagement and he tells her like hey like i am all about you and i am all about about this I want to make it work but I don't think we're ready for that step yet I can see her like being really emotional over that but I do think they're gonna work I mean I really really am rooting for them because I I love that I think it was that interview where he was like describing their Sunday morning and what it was gonna look like down in the future I love I think that's when I really fell in love with their relationship so I think it's gonna work out for them I mean she looks so sad here but I think they're gonna make it through 
I know. What are you crying about, Marissa? Let us know. Um, but somebody else who has been crying a lot this season is Kendall. And I was floored when she came back. Because I feel like I know a lot of spoilers. And I did not expect Kendall to show back up on the beach. Completely floored. Let's take a look at this clip. Because what is she doing here? Like, why is she back? And just when you think you've seen it all. Oh, my God. Is that Kendall? Think again. Okay. Like, who wants to go first? Like, I have so much to say. Anyone? Oh, my God. No, I can go what? first because, honestly, I feel like I have to be quick or I could rant about this for days. I feel like she is getting played like a fiddle by producers. This is not cool, right? Why is she coming back? Why are they giving her the power to come back, right? Like, what's going on there? They, she, I don't care who you are. Producers should be saying no. Don't they want to have any engagement this season? Why are they making right. it so difficult for Joe and Serena? Like, let them have their moment. Let them be happy. Kendall does not get to do whatever Kendall wants to do. I, I think this is totally unfair i think it's a huge mistake and i think that she's sitting at home somewhere feeling embarrassed by this because it's a little embarrassing i ranted anyways but oh my god this is it's just it is, it is cringe it's a lot embarrassing like why is she she better be getting a good paycheck from the bachelor now i actually don't think she's coming to win joe back i think that she's coming to like let him free and like give him permission or just like healing like I just let it free, oh. let it be. And I think and I think that's kind of what it is because I I mean, what is she expecting Joe to propose to her? Like he didn't do that the first time. Like does she have is she coming with a plane ticket to Chicago? Like what? So I kind of think for whatever reason Kendall thinks that that's better. This will be healing for her. And I think that I don't know why she thinks that. I don't think Joe cares. I don't think Serena cares. I don't think anyone anyone that watches the show wants to see Kendall back. No shade to Kendall because I do like her. But like she just looks desperate and ridiculous. So she better be getting a good check from the Bachelor. Mariah, what do you think? I hope it's that and not her thinking like I cannot like because she left very much still in love with Joe not over them wanting it to like be her and Joe and it just wasn't so I hope this isn't her like I have to shoot my shot one last time before it's too late and he proposes like because that is so selfish to me you know he mentioned I think the episode that she left if she really if she really loved me if she really wanted me she wouldn't have come on the show to try to win me back like she would have already made that move before we were on in paradise. And I think that's so true. Like this just to me is so selfish. He has, he has something real with somebody that is like, whatever we need to do to make it work, I think we're going to because we both want to. And you know what it comes down to is she wasn't willing to and neither was he because neither one of them wanted to make that move. Neither one of them really had a mutual uh, idea of what their future was gonna look like and who was gonna make the big, who was gonna take that next step. So. I hope that it is not her coming down there to shoot her shot one last time because I think that's so selfish. And it's like, don't ruin what could be a treasured moment for the rest of their lives. You know, if they do end up being the real deal and like they're the they're like happily ever after for the long run, like don't have like imprinted this moment with your selfishness. So I also think though, like Fiona, to your point, like, oh my gosh, it's so annoying and so typical of Bachelor producers to make a, a a moment that should be so special and romantic have some type of drama attached to it it's like i don't even care to see that like yes i love to watch the drama unfold but i don't yeah. even care to watch it if you're gonna ruin something so special like this is the last episode this is what we've all been waiting for not for freaking kindle to come down the stairs and a either be mm -hmm. like i'm giving you my blessing or b like are you sure i'm not Take the one out. you want i mean None of us want to see For that. For real. And she's clearly coming yeah. down on engagement day because she's walking and Joe is here. And we just saw this shot of Kenny and Mari with roses. So I'm assuming that they're going to at least give each other their final rose. We don't know if they're going to get engaged or not, but that is something to look at. But Kendall's literally showing up the day of the engagement. Why doesn't she show up the day before or two days before that? What is she doing? doing like it's just so confusing i don't know what she thinks she's gonna get out of it fiona do you think this is kendall's opportunity or chance to become the next bachelorette is she trying to seem like she's so brokenhearted so she can get that edit 
Um, listen, I hope you're right. I don't, I don't know why I hadn't even considered that maybe she is there to try to like set him free. Cause I guess that would be the best version of this. I think I just panicked. So I, I cannot tell you how much I hope you're right. I still don't think she should do it, but I really hope that that's where she's there. That being said, I think that if you're playing the PR game in your own mind, maybe you think that will help your image, whether or not producers are trying to come in and give her a bachelorette edit at this point. I don't think so because I think that there are, I think if they're trying to make someone get a bachelorette edit, right, it's been Natasha because Natasha has been shown in such a good light. She's been likable. She's got so much screen time. Her heart has been broken, but she hasn't been obsessed with one person. I do think it's kind of hard to say that Kendall's been given any sort of bachelorette edit because she's just shown up really into one person, not being open to finding love. And that's kind of the big thing, right? Your bachelor, your bachelorette has to be so open to finding love, so open to the process, so open to this journey. She has not been open. So even if she sets him free, right? Like even if she sets him free at the end here, I think it's way too big of a leap. And we're going to get so many new girls. We have a a new bachelor, you know, finally, right? Like, I don't think that this edit is strong enough to create a bachelorette campaign. Maybe that's just me, but that's how I feel. She might be trying. She could be trying, sure. She could be trying. Um, Wait, we have one more clip, the last clip, which we're going to see Kendall in. So let's see what this is. She's absolutely trying to stop this right now. Don't miss the shocking and emotional Literally, Mari and Kenny are just watching this go down. Joe has a ring. He's about to propose to Serena. If I was Serena, I would have thrown a drink on Kendall weeks ago because she has tried to interfere in this relationship so many times, and now she has the audacity to try and interfere on the engagement after everything she's already done the entire time she's been on Paradise. If I was Serena, I would hate Kendall with a burning passion. Like, so much. Mariah, what, like, what else do you think we could see on this finale at this point? I feel like I do think Serena's love for Joe is like strong enough to get through this. But I do feel like on a day that's supposed to be so special and is so full of so many intense emotions, having an ex show up for the second time trying to like interfere with that would almost make me feel like, gosh, is this what I have to expect for the rest of our relationships? Like how much longer, yeah. How much longer am I going to have to share my relationship with her because she keeps like intruding on it. I mean, it would definitely, I don't know. I do feel like uh, we just talked about potential scenarios, but I can't help but feel like Kendall is just trying to ruin everything and throw a wrench in everything and stop the engagement, which there's so many rom-coms about. I mean, I keep thinking my best friend's wedding. I feel like that happened in that movie. Um, I'm thinking like Roberts. Kourtney Kardashian and like Scott Disick when Scott had to break up with Sophia because, um, or Sophia had to break mm. up with Scott because Scott was so busy with, you know, his ex, Courtney hanging out with her all the time. And it's just like, yeah. it becomes a factor. It becomes an issue. If your ex is crazy or if your ex keeps intruding on the situation, it's going to start to affect your relationship regardless if you're over the ex or not. Kendall keeps popping yes. up. I don't I, like she better be getting paid because she's looks so bad and desperate right now. And obviously we didn't see the episode. So, of course, we can give her the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, maybe she's going to come in and be like, here's your blessing. I'm your fairy godmother. But at this point, like Kendall, you should have just went with Ivan because you guys are giving me the exact same energy right now. Kendall and mm-hmm. Ivan forever. Fiona, what is your final thoughts on this trailer? This is the last teaser we have um, of next week. I feel like it is promising a very solid finale. I personally, I mean, listen, they're basically showing us that uh, Kenny and Mari are engaged. I do not feel like their journey has been in a straight line enough that that is something I've like seen coming except for these teasers. So I think how they get there is going to be wild. Obviously, this Joe Serena Kendall stuff is going to be wild. We're going to see a lot of broken hearts. We're going to see couples dropping like flies, as I think it's Marissa who says that. I am ready for this finale, and I think it's going to be an exciting end to the season. Like, they're saying it's going to be three hours. I think it's going to be a good three hours full of drama and chaos and romance and what the season deserved, honestly. It's going to be a long 
three hours next week. And we will definitely be breaking it down. So much to unpack that we did today, but we want to open it up to you guys. So tweet us at Shared News your questions. We will answer them right now. Go into the comment section on YouTube. Let us know your opinions. Let us know what you think. Anything you have to ask or anything you want to say, any theories or predictions, definitely drop them down below. We want to hear what you guys have to say. And so far, there's been no word on a reunion. Like, Michelle's season is supposed to air October 19th, right? Or the 13th. Does anyone know? Even 19th. though we should know. 19th. Okay, so next week is October, like, 5th, which is going to be the finale. Okay, so we have one week in between because that's two weeks. So there might be a reunion, actually between but then why haven't we seen a teaser about it maybe we'll see a teaser about it next week i'm just like really wanting this reunion because it's been so difficult for me to listen to every single person's podcast because they keep on like everyone goes on like one of the podcasts and like dishes about their story it's so hard to keep up on so i'm just like we need a reunion so everything could be sorted out mariah who would you want to see host that reunion I mean, I think there's an obvious answer, but who do you want to see host the Bachelor in Paradise reunion if there is one? I mean, everyone at Shared News knows that I am a big Wells fan. I love him. I honestly oh. think that him being the co-host or the guest host was like huge. All of the cast loved it because they're all so familiar and comfortable with him. And I think it was perfect. I honestly am still so disappointed that he's not going to be like the forever host. But I also like, I loved David Spade. I thought he was hilarious. I don't know how serious I can take him though like when we get on more heavier topics I mean I don't know if he's the person I want to see kind of uh, navigate that for people or mediate certain heavier topics but I do love him I think he's hilarious other than that though I don't know I mean I don't know I guess I'm gonna Jesse have to just Palmer. like point to well well yeah that would be a good like because I'm not very familiar with him so I think that might be good to as a good introduction, like, hey, uh, this is what I'm about, this is what I'm like, and we'll be able to see how he introduced or how he kind of like gets along with Cass. So I think that actually, yeah, that could be a good idea. I still want Wells to do it, but. And we will definitely be back here next week to discuss the finale. So make sure you guys are subscribed before you guys go and ring the bell so you never miss out on any future videos. And also don't forget before you guys go to comment down below. We want to read your thoughts and your opinions on this season of Bachelor in Paradise. Let us know your predictions. Let us know your theories. Every time I can't think of a theory, if you guys comment one, it's amazing. So definitely let us know. As always, I am your host, Zachary Reality, joined today by the lovely Fiona Zaring and lovely Mariah Davis. Our social media handles are on the screen right now. Come give us a follow. Come say hello. And we will catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye. Bye.